huge breath. Passed out. I am utterly exhausted. I just need to constantly remind myself he's given me a purpose and he has a plan. Good morning guys and welcome to Tuesday in the hospital and this girl's lungs are feeling blah. I'm so curious what my PFTs are going to be. Yeah, we're going to go do PFTs. Um, I guess it's been a week and a half since, or no, it's been longer. Was Friday. It, was it a Friday? But Could yeah. Because started IVs the day. Yes. Yeah, so Friday, a week and a half. So a week and a half, yeah. It's been a week and a half, and she's been on drugs since then, but it's we've had to change the therapy, come off of cholestin, start new drugs, and then wait to go to the full dose of drugs because of her kidneys. This morning, the, what do you call that, doctor? Plus, honest, nephrologist. The nephrologist. I wonder, what, what is nephrologist? Frolic. That's the kidney. Mm -hmm. But why is it called neph? I'm guessing the Latin word for the Oh, Latin. Meal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I help you? My IV is done. Okay. Thanks. A lot going on. Anyways, the nephrologist came by this morning uh, because Mary's uh, CF team was consulting with them about her. AKI, acute kidney damage or injury uh, from uh, the colistin she was on. And he basically said, they've run a lot of tests and that sort of thing, and said it's just gonna take time for her kidneys to recover. So we just gotta give it time and keep flushing them with a lot of fluids. And that's where we're at with the kidneys. But we, we're waiting we're waiting for phlebotomy to come by and take Mary's blood work for today so that we can know how her kidneys are doing but also how her blood counts are doing because they had dropped yesterday. Anyways, there's always a lot of moving parts around here. But um, Mary's team came by but it was kind of like not much to talk about until we get that blood work back. But we are going to do PFTs today. We're going to, Mary's going to keep doing her therapy, okay, doing you drugs. Are you Yeah. Walking down the hall, doing PFTs. Come in. Walking down the hall, doing PFTs, going to the gym and doing chest PT. That's, that's Mary's uh, chant for today because that's what today holds. But I'm hoping my lungs wake up a little bit. To a curse. Doctor said nothing could reverse. Sickness had taken hold of me. Oh, before my heart even learned to be. Gave my parents 18 years. Till my lungs gave way to their fear. Was not my maker's plan. And thirty years strong I stand. But for his mercy, but for his blight, but for his all consuming love, he's given me a purpose and he has a plan that death could not. Okay, we are back from PFTs and my PFTs went up a couple percent. Nothing huge, but definitely they didn't go down and that's great and they are up a little bit. So we still have a long way to go with getting my lungs back to kind of where they've been in the last year, but we are doing everything we possibly can. So yesterday I discovered this song, which you guys just heard, and it is written and sung by a girl with CF, Colby, 
and she actually just had a double lung transplant and I like sent her a message and I just told her how much the lyrics meant to me and it was just such an awesome reminder that like some of the lyrics say it's like facing the facts about like CF it's not great it's hard but he has a purpose God has a purpose no he's given me a purpose and he has a plan and it was just such an amazing, like I told Colby, this is my anthem for the rest of this hospital stay and much longer than that. But ever since I started listening to it, I can't get it out of my head and it's perfect because I just need to constantly remind myself he's given me a purpose and he has a plan and I still have to push through the, the hard days and the annoying things and all of what goes in between with CF care, but I'm just grateful for that song that has been like cheering me on. So thank you Colby for um, allowing us to share it in today's vlog. Everybody give Colby a thumbs up for that awesome song. And I was <laughs> reminded of the purpose that he's given us in many ways that we didn't expect in making these videos to be an encouragement to others and I met a lady down in the cafe in the hospital this morning whose son is in the hospital and she saw my Fry Life shirt and she said hey I just wanted to let you know that your videos have been an inspiration to me and your wife Mary is um, has encouraged me in many ways and 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 that just like I was standing there in line waiting to check out and I was just thinking wow that is such an encouragement to us to remind us of why we do what we do and yeah. why we pick up this camera. Yeah. Um, we hope we can be an encouragement to those of you who experience the brokenness of this world and broken bodies and all of that and yet the joy and the hope that there is to be found. Yeah. So if you want to listen to Colby, this this song of Colby's or any of her other songs, we're going to put a link in the description. Go show her some love. I am just, I have it on repeat. And so I was really excited to be able to put it in today's vlog. To the trials and to the pain But I'm covered in a crimson stain That will carry me But for his all-consuming love He's given me a purpose And he has a plan That death could not withstand <coughs> The not-so-fun part One of those days where you feel your weakness and you say I can usually use the two pound weights but the one and a half are too hard for me and then you cry but you keep trying good job <laughs> proud of you honey she is working hard uh, do what you think you can't do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am utterly exhausted today. I just, I am exhausted. And it makes sense. I mean, sorry, put the little raise hand emoji if you just rate, if you just yawned. Put it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I've just had a lot lot coming in and out today and um, I guess the PFTs are probably what wore me out the most but then I just went to the gym and then I was exhausted and whatever the nephrologist came in again just now with 
like his boss and they just basically said well first of all my blood work came back they did blood work right before I went to PFTs and it it's back now and my creatinine number has come down a little so we are heading in the right direction for that and so that's really great and the doctor said something I didn't know that the pancreatic enzymes that I have to take with everything I eat can have a and a like can take a hit on the kidneys I think he was saying that the enzymes have a relation to kidney stones oh 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 that's right yeah. the the enzymes have a relation they can cause they more can, kidney stones in stones. okay they can cause more kidney stones in like CF patients so there's that and I had a kidney stone way before we started vlogging long story I guess short I was actually in another state for a wedding I was in a car accident which may or may not be related at all but all I know is that night my like I started puking and I was so sick and I was in so much pain it turns out it was a kidney stone we went to the emergency room in that state were we in Indiana or Ohio we were in Indiana. Indiana went to the emergency room they like rushed me in and they figured out it was a kidney stone and then when we got back to Massachusetts that ER called us and was like go to the hospital you have an infection so I guess some of the lab work came back after we were already gone anyway we came to my hospital they ended up having to like surgically place a stint and then that was supposed to like allow the kidney stone to come out because it was blocking and it was causing that infection all of that to say the doctor mentioned that he's like I know you have a history with a kidney stone and like basically he was just like checking in and saying we're heading in the right direction and keep keep up the liquids keep flo f what fluids. fluids and filtering your whatever yeah. like flushing flushing your kidneys out and so that's great oh he also said that as we age and the more nephrotoxic like kidney toxic medications that my body has to handle the more sensitive or touchy the kidneys can be so that I guess that kind of makes sense because the last IV course I was on, I was on vancomycin, which is also nephrotoxic. So, all of that to say, it was a good day. My PFTs are up a smidge. My creatinine is down a smidge. I ate a croissant. I have not been able to eat. Like, seriously, people, it is weird it's like my appetite is completely zapped but I'm on full-time feeding tube and my weight is stable so um, my team feels good about that and we celebrate each bite I can take but anyway so some good progress today the only things that the blood work showed oh. that are not good progress is that Mary's blood counts are going down her white counts and specifically her platelets are getting like we told you yesterday they were low like almost you can't do chest PT low because of risk of bruising and all of that and they're lower today she's still above the threshold seven for points seven points above the threshold for doing PT but it just means we've got to keep an eye on it uh, and if it gets too low figure out what to do but for now we just keep going and keep an eye on it so yeah. thanks for coming on this day with us guys Mary's got chest PT here in a little oh. bit uh, but no oh you, you you've got some time you can rest okay it's a lot of hard work here in the hospital I don't know why today feels so exhausting maybe because I've been doing it for a, a week now yeah and I mean, your body's just handling a lot right now. So, thanks for coming on this day with us. And, as always. As always. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night to the Olive.